Joshua chapter 13. Now Joshua was old and stricken in years, and the Lord said unto him, Thou art old and stricken in years, and there remaineth yet very much land to be possessed. This is the land that yet remaineth, all the borders of the Philistines, and all Geshuri. From Sihor, which is before Egypt, even unto the borders of Ekron northward, which is counted to the Canaanite, five lords of the Philistines, the Gazathites, and the Ashdathites, the Eshkalanites, the Jatites, and the Ekronites, also the Avites. From the south, all the land of the Canaanites, and Miara that is beside the Sidonians unto Aphek, to the borders of the Amorites. And the land of the Jiblites, and all Lebanon, toward the sunrising, from Balgad under Mount Hermon unto the entering into Hamath. All the inhabitants of the hill country from Lebanon unto Misrephothmaim, and all the Sidonians, them will I drive out from before the children of Israel, only divide thou it by lot unto the Israelites for an inheritance, as I have commanded thee. Now therefore divide this land for an inheritance unto the nine tribes, and the half-tribe of Manasseh. With whom the Reubenites and the Gadites have received their inheritance, which Moses gave them, beyond Jordan eastward, even as Moses the servant of the Lord gave them. From Aroer, that is upon the bank of the river Arnon, and the city that is in the midst of the river, and all the plain of Medeba unto Dibon. And all the cities of Sihon king of the Amorites, which reigned in Heshbon, unto the border of the children of Ammon. And Gilead, and the border of the Geshurites and Machathites, and all Mount Hermon, and all Bashan unto Salka. All the kingdom of Og in Bashan, which reigned in Ashtaroth and in Adre, who remained of the remnant of the giants, for these did Moses smite, and cast them out. Nevertheless the children of Israel expelled not the Geshurites, nor the Machathites, but the Geshurites and the Machathites dwell among the Israelites until this day. Only unto the tribes of Levi he gave none inheritance. The sacrifices of the Lord God of Israel made by fire are their inheritance, as he said unto them. And Moses gave unto the tribe of the children of Reuben inheritance according to their families. And their coast was from Aroer, that is on the bank of the river Arnon, and the city that is in the midst of the river, and all the plain by Medeba. Heshbon, and all her cities that are in the plain, Dibon, and Bamothbal, and Beth Bamian. And Jehaza, and Ketamoth, and Mephoth. And Kerjathame, and Sibma, and Zareth Sahar in the mount of the valley. And Beth Peor, and Ashdoth Pisgah, and Beth Yishamot. And all the cities of the plain, and all the kingdom of Sihon king of the Amorites, which reigned in Heshbon, whom Moses smote with the princes of Midian, Evi, and Rechem, and Zur, and Hur, and Reba, which were dukes of Sihon, dwelling in the country. Balaam also the son of Baor, the soothsayer, did the children of Israel slay with the sword among them that were slain by them. And the border of the children of Reuben was Jordan, and the border thereof. This was the inheritance of the children of Reuben after their families, the cities and the villages thereof. And Moses gave inheritance unto the tribe of Gad, even unto the children of Gad according to their families. And their coast was Yazer, and all the cities of Gilead, and half the land of the children of Ammon, unto a rower that is before Rabbah. And from Heshbon unto Rimmisbeh, and Betanim, and from Mahanaim unto the border of Debir. And in the valley, Beth Aram, and Beth Nimrah, and Succoth, and Zaphon, the rest of the kingdom of Sihon king of Heshbon, Jordan and his border, even unto the edge of the sea of Kinnereth on the other side Jordan eastward. This is the inheritance of the children of Gad after their families, the cities, and their villages. And Moses gave inheritance unto the half-tribe of Manasseh, and this was the possession of the half-tribe of the children of Manasseh by their families, and their coast was from Mahanaim, all Bashan, all the kingdom of Og king of Bashan, and all the towns of Yer, which are in Bashan, threescore cities. And half Gilead, and Ashtaroth, and Adre, cities of the kingdom of Og in Bashan, were pertaining unto the children of Machir the son of Manasseh, even to the one half of the children of Machir by their families. These are the countries which Moses did distribute for inheritance in the plains of Moab, on the other side Jordan, by Jericho, eastward. But unto the tribe of Levi Moses gave not any inheritance, the Lord God of Israel was their inheritance, as he said unto them. Joshua chapter 14. And these are the countries which the children of Israel inherited in the land of Canaan, which Eleazar the priest, and Joshua the son of Nun, and the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel, distributed for inheritance to them. By lot was their inheritance, as the Lord commanded by the hand of Moses, for the nine tribes, and for the half-tribe. 
for Moses had given the inheritance of two tribes and an half tribe on the other side Jordan, but unto the Levites he gave none inheritance among them. For the children of Joseph were two tribes, Manasseh and Ephraim, therefore they gave no part unto the Levites in the land, safe cities to dwell in, with their suburbs for their cattle and for their substance. As the Lord commanded Moses, so the children of Israel did, and they divided the land. Then the children of Judah came unto Joshua and Gilgal, and Caleb the son of Jephunneh the Kenizzite said unto him, Thou knowest the thing that the Lord said unto Moses the man of God concerning me and thee in Kadesh Barnea. Forty years old was I when Moses the servant of the Lord sent me from Kadesh Barnea to e spy out the land, and I brought him word again as it was in mine heart. Nevertheless my brethren that went up with me made the heart of the people melt, but I wholly follow the Lord my God. And Moses swear on that day, saying, Surely the land whereon thy feet have trodden shall be thine inheritance, and thy children's for ever, because thou hast wholly followed the Lord my God. And now, behold, the Lord hath kept me alive, as he said, these forty and five years, even since the Lord spake this word unto Moses, while the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness, and now, lo, I am this day fourscore and five years old. As yet I am as strong this day as I was in the day that Moses sent me, as my strength was then, even so is my strength now, for war, both to go out, and to come in. Now therefore give me this mountain, whereof the Lord spake in that day, for thou heardest in that day how the Anakims were there, and that the cities were great and fenced, if so be the Lord will be with me, then I shall be able to drive them out, as the Lord said. And Joshua blessed him, and gave unto Caleb the son of Jephunneh Hebron for an inheritance. Hebron therefore became the inheritance of Caleb the son of Jephunneh the Kenizzite unto this day because that he wholly followed the Lord God of Israel. And the name of Hebron before was Kirjath Arba, which Arba was a great man among the Anakims. And the land had rest from war. Luke chapter 18 verses 1 through 17. And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray, and not to faint, saying, There was in a city a judge, which feared not God, neither regarded man. And there was a widow in that city, and she came unto him, saying, Avenge me of mine adversary and he would not for a while, but afterward he said within himself, Though I fear not God, nor regard man, yet because this widow troubled me, I will avenge her, lest by her continual coming she weary me. And the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge saith. And shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? And he spake this parable unto certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous, and despised others. Two men went up into the temple to pray, the one a Pharisee, and the other a publican. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, God, I thank thee, that I am not as other men are, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this publican. I fast twice in the week, I give tithes of all that I possess. And the publican, standing afar off, would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven, but smote upon his breast, saying, God be merciful to me a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other, for every one that exalteth himself shall be abased, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. And they brought unto him also infants, that he would touch them, but when his disciples saw it, they rebuked them. But Jesus called them unto him, and said, Suffer little children to come unto me, and forbid them not for of such is the kingdom of God. Verily I say unto you, whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child shall in no wise enter therein. Psalms 85. Lord, Thou hast been favourable unto Thy land, Thou hast brought back the captivity of Jacob. Thou hast forgiven the iniquity of Thy people, Thou hast covered all their sin. Selah. Thou hast taken away all Thy wrath, Thou hast turned Thyself from the fierceness of Thine anger. Turn us, O God of our salvation and cause thine anger toward us to cease. Wilt thou be angry with us forever? Wilt thou draw out thine anger to all generations? Wilt thou not revive us again, that thy people may rejoice in thee? Show us thy mercy, O Lord, and grant us thy salvation. I will hear what God the Lord will speak, for he will speak peace unto his people, and to his saints, but let them not turn again to folly. Surely his salvation is nigh them that fear him, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together, righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and righteousness shall look down from heaven. Yea, 
the Lord shall give that which is good, and our land shall yield her increase. Righteousness shall go before him, and shall set us in the way of his steps. Proverbs chapter 13 verses 7 through 8. There is that maketh himself rich, yet hath nothing, there is that maketh himself poor, yet hath great riches. The ransom of a man's life are his riches, but the poor heareth not rebuke.